the Minecraft Zombie. A nuisance known for their hostile attacks and deadly behavior, the average player evades them with ease. But most seem to forget the tragic origin that lies within them. Join me as we explore how one person's life can change for the worst. On a calm afternoon, one villager's son, Kyle, and his chicken companion, Ralph, were coming home from one of their daily adventures. They would often go out on imaginary expeditions, playing around with Kyle's toy wooden sword. But as they approached their home, they heard roars. Help! Kyle and his friend rushed off to find his village destroyed, along with its iron golems. Kyle knew exactly what had happened. Their home was just raided by their enemy, pillagers. Most villagers began rebuilding, while Kyle rushed off to find his father. Dad! He searched everywhere he could, until finally he found him injured but safe. He could see that his father was very relieved to find out he was safe as well. The father quickly got up and handed his son food, trying to cheer him up from what had just taken place. And they both started working together to try and rebuild their home. As the sun set and the moon slowly started to rise, the village was still at work. A few noises sounded off in the distance, but these noises were not villagers or even pillagers. Suddenly, a wave of zombies came out of the bushes in the forest, heading straight for them. Because of the raid earlier, the villagers had not yet formed new iron golems, leaving them defenseless. Zombies began to roam through the buildings, causing villagers to run for their dear lives, either dying or turning into something much worse. Kyle had just gotten done gathering more wood for his home when he noticed all of this happening. He began to panic and ran away but it was already too late. A zombie hit and bit the young villager, causing him to slowly fall to the ground and lose consciousness. Hours later, as Kyle awoke the next morning, he felt heat like he had never felt before. In a daze, he tried to recollect his thoughts. Suddenly, he felt a burning sensation take over his whole body. Looking down, Kyle saw that his skin was green? In a bout of confusion and dismay, he ran right out into the sun, catching fire and taking damage. He quickly scurried to the nearest shade, crying. <laughs> what have I become? <laughs> As he began to cool down, he noticed his companion making his way over to him. A thread of hope rushed through Kyle, knowing that Ralph was safe. As Kyle looked his friend in the eyes, memories poured over him. The things he once enjoyed the most the open air, the flowing plains, and the smell of morning adventure was now completely out of reach. With his world turned completely upside down, Kyle and Ralph decided it best to start taking their routes underground, where the sun could not hit the young zombie. They ventured through various long tunnels and passages until they finally reached what looked like a large lush cave opening. Just to be safe, Kyle yelled out for his father in the hopes that he had escaped down here to safety. He then heard a noise from the opposite side, but instead of his father, it was a turtle? Both were shocked and scared of each other at first, but then they slowly made their way towards one another. Oh, the name's Hermit. As a friendly gesture, Hermit began to show Kyle and Ralph around his cave, but Kyle stopped him and began to ask him if he had seen his father or any other villagers within these caves. Hermit shook his head filling Kyle with sadness. Hermit noticed the detrimental effect that this news had brought him. I will help you find your family. The young zombie brought his head up in excitement. He had no idea that he could make a new friend, especially being the creature that he was. He thanked Hermit, then started to formulate a plan. Both of them, knowing that it was too dangerous to roam the world alone, especially at night, agreed to collect enough material for protection and the adventure. Off they went within the caves, collecting wood from abandoned mine shafts, stone, and even some iron. Because of this, their confidence grew, but this feeling didn't last, as they heard an echo coming from one of the tunnels. Anticipation awaited them, until the source of the noise made an appearance. It was a player. The player noticed the mobs and began to charge after them with the intentions of clearing out this cave for his mining expedition. They all tried to run away, but Hermit was not fast enough. Run, Kyle, run! The player slashed Hermit to the ground. Kyle sat there, 
numb to his emotions. He looked towards the player, knowing he and Ralph had to make a run for it, leaving the cave as the moon rose that evening. Kyle traveled with his friend for what felt like hours until they finally reached a stop and walked over to the nearby lake in disbelief. Why had his life come to this? He just wanted his family. Ralph slowly walked up to him and threw Kyle's old wooden toy sword down in front of him. The baby zombie knew that while his real family was gone, at least he had Ralph. Just then a rumbling sounded off in both their stomachs. They hadn't eaten in so long, and if that didn't change, this would all be for nothing. So Kyle and Ralph walked off in search of a meal. They noticed a nearby village. Together, they agreed to check for any potential food trades. Luckily, Kyle still had the emeralds that his father would give him as his weekly allowance, and began going around the village searching for trades. However, with every attempt came another villager running in terror. Anger and frustration grew within him. Why did they not want to hear what he had to say? This used to be the life that he loved. They needed another option. The zombie took some seeds from the village, resorting to what he grew up knowing, farming. Ralph was able to eat the seeds as they were, but the same seeds would not sustain Kyle. So, they got to work building a camp and a farm. They waited, night after night, only to realize that Kyle would surely starve before the crops could grow. Great, Kyle thought, yet another failure. While thinking, he spotted a few animals, and a new idea grew. He pulled out his wooden sword and quickly got to work. While eating his delicious meal, Kyle realized that with this new form, it seemed easier to just take things without question. His quest for his father continued on, stopping at village after village, calling out his father's name. But sadly, he never found him. While at these villages, Kyle would raid their farms and food supply without their permission. On one of these raids, he got a huge supply of seeds for Ralph. Finally, he had good news to bring to his friend, only to find that something was off. Was that smoke in the distance? He ran, finding his camp was completely destroyed, and in the middle of it was the same player from before, looting everything they had built. He looked over and saw that Ralph was hiding in fear. Ralph then took a step towards Kyle, but made a noise too loud. The player turned his head. Kyle froze as he watched his best friend be killed right in front of his very eyes. No! The player laughed as he ran away from the base. Kyle just stood there for hours and hours. He couldn't go on any longer. Every aspect of his life, including his best friend, was now gone. Kyle built a grave for Ralph, laying his wooden sword on top of it in remembrance of their fun memories. He then dropped to the ground, laying there lifeless, waiting for his demise to approach. As the moon went down and sun slowly started to rise, he could see the shadows of the terrain lessen and lessen. This was it, he thought. Right before the sun reached him, however, a new glimpse of hope shone on the baby zombie. As an enderman teleported in, he picked up Kyle and teleported him away to safety. They appeared inside the midst of a dark forest. The Enderman then asked Kyle why he was doing such a reckless act. Kyle turned the other way, full of emotion, and slowly uttered that he had nothing left worth living for. He lost his family, his best friend, and now he has no one. Suddenly, other mobs started to creep out from the surrounding bushes. Every single one of them felt the same pain and sadness Kyle was going through. A skeleton walked up to him and reassured him that everything was going to be okay. Kyle slowly started to realize how misunderstood all of these creatures really were. They weren't monsters, but were instead treated as if they were. The Enderman then went on to say that he knew exactly where the village was that the young zombie had originated from. I can help you teleport back there now. He was excited, but before the baby zombie went off, he turned to the other mobs and thanked them for everything. He was teleported back to the village, and to his surprise, the villagers were back. They had all been rebuilding their homes. Ecstatic, Kyle went off in search for his dad, yelling his name. He turned a corner and finally saw him. He got so excited that he ran faster than he had ever run before. 
he would return, be with his father, and have his life back just the way it was before. Finally, he reached his father and was met by food being thrown directly at him. Kyle tried to explain that it was him, his son, but his father did not listen and began screaming at him. You are a freak! Get out of here now! Kyle's undead heart began to shatter as his own family, his own blood, no longer wanted him. An iron golem suddenly emerged and began to attack Kyle, but thanks to his agility, he was able to escape from the assault. As he left the village, he turned back and shock filled his whole body. It was the player, the one who killed Hermit, the one who killed his lifelong companion, Ralph, right in front of him, trading with a villager. As the player left, Kyle made the decision to pursue him, heading in the same direction that the zombies attacked from all those days ago. They finally reached what looked like the player's base. Kyle quickly snuck inside and began to look around, trying to find ways to seek revenge on the player. He then heard familiar grunting noises coming from down the stairs. He took his chances and made his way over, only to be met with the horrifying sight of a mob spawner ready to be farmed whenever the player pleased. Suddenly, it clicked. The zombie attack, the death of his friends, the turning point of his life, all happened because of this player. It was he who released all of these zombies while creating this selfish killing farm, who didn't even think twice before taking away everything and everyone so dear to Kyle. And now, it was he who was about to pay for all of it. Kyle formulated a plan, one that would require the help of his new friend, and the Enderman agreed to aid him in his plan. One night, while the player was working on enchantments inside of his home, he heard a loud noise coming from his mob spawner room. Curious as to what it could be, he investigated. As he entered the room, he noticed that his spawner was disrupted, causing zombies to flood out of it. He turned around to escape only to see two glowing purple eyes looking back at him. Zombies crept up behind him. Thoughts of fear and horror hit him as he realized what this Enderman was really doing, sealing the exit. Loud shouts of terror echoed through the player's house as the undead claimed him. Kyle thought that this act of revenge would satisfy any driving hunger that was left inside of him. However, he was far from right. He continues his hunt for players, even to this day, moving at speeds like no other zombie, seeking havoc and revenge for his tragic origins.